What's up guys? Welcome to the artclasses.com. Today we are going to do a tutorial, uh, paint over and critique session basically. So I just reached my first goal on Patreon a week ago. So uh, my first goal was to make uh, one paint over and critique session on YouTube once a month. And if I reach my second goal, I'll do it uh, twice a month. And if I reach my third, I'll do it basically every week. So this is going to be a paint over and critique session. I'm just going to you know, narrate and explain everything, how to improve your uh, painting and stuff. And if you want to get a chance to get this paint over, you can become my Patreon uh, from level one to level five. Just post it on the page of the Patreon post, then you're going to get a paint over and you can watch it here. But if you don't, you can just watch this and hopefully you learn something from it. So um, the tablet giveaway is still going on and if you want a tablet just become a subscriber and post any question or comment down below so I can answer you guys question on the QA and now I have a lot of questions that I'm kind of a little bit behind on the question maybe I'll do two sessions a week on the QA just let me know if you want two sessions also I'm going to have another giveaway which is uh, I'm going to give away uh, one downloadable premium tutorial on my website a week so just one and uh, to enter that you just uh, on the link down below I have the link to my Instagram just follow me on Instagram and each week I will uh, pick you guys randomly and then you guys can pick whichever premium video tutorial that I release um, just pick one and then I will uh, send that to you so you can download them so just follow me on Instagram. It's uh, Instagram.com slash ZiaTevTara01 or on Patreon. Um, Patreon is just Patreon.com slash ZiaTevTara. But Instagram is just 01 on it. Uh, I don't know why somebody took it. Um, so anyways, so in here I'm just going to do a paint over of this uh, grayscale portrait of the original from my one of my Patreon that download my video tutorial and this paint over of this one and I'm just gonna critique this um, really nice portrait here a little bit so alright guys let's get started so just really quick before we started I'm just gonna show you what I'm working on and uh, Patreon tutorial for July so these are for the basic uh, level 2 and up it's gonna be a pose for male and a drawing tip from how to get the natural pose then we're gonna do a walk and run and then here uh, I'm still working on these so this is gonna be level 5 and then there's probably gonna be illustration and a bunch of uh, stuff in the back like action pose how to do a card illustrator or something like that so and then uh, here will be our level 4 how to uh, sketch a character so basically these are character but I probably gonna maybe I'll, I'll add more stuff onto it and make it look slightly better because these are half an hour sketch so um, I'll add it a little bit better and these I'm not sure where to put them yet but it's probably be level 3 or level 4 uh, this will definitely be level 4 for sure and this level 3 and this uh, level 3 or 4 or something like that I'm not so I, I think this might be level 3 I'm not sure 3 or 4 um, and here so I haven't decided which one to put where yet but uh, eventually uh, all these is going to be released on Patreon in July all right Alright guys, so this is going to be a paint over session, so there's like a, a a lot of piece at the moment, not a lot, but um, a few, maybe five, six, seven, so I have to, I can only pick a few, so I'm just going to randomly select it and just paint over that. So um, most of this I can tell you watch my video tutorial, um, and the problem here is probably the hair, um, you probably want to simplify it a little bit more, but I didn't have time to paint over. Uh, so apologize for that, but um, yeah, the the form you you get the form almost there, but the brush are a little bit too soft, um, and then the location and the proportion of your eye, nose, and lips, you're gonna have to locate that. This one, um, it's nice, uh, but you can improve it by adding harder edge or something like that. And if you simplify the hair more like that and add a little highlight, would be cool. But uh, on Patreon in July you are my patron so I'm just going to tutorial on here so hopefully that will uh, help you do that a little bit so skin color it's uh, you can saturate it a little bit more but um, yeah, don't worry about it just the placement of everything should be more important so the value is here nice um, on here I'm just going to paint over this one is the value and everything is almost there. this one the value is everything is there 
if you want it to look better, it just the placement of each element, uh, kind of like move thing in a little bit, uh, change the eyebrows a little bit, move uh, the nose up and the lips up, uh, then it look better. So if you want them to look better, but as far as the form go, these are fine. Um, this one uh, I'm gonna paint over that one, so it's gonna get a little bit of work. So good job, guys! And if you become my patron, you get a paint over. And now there's not a lot of image yet, so the sooner probably the better. You get more chance to get um, picked. So all right, so I'm just gonna move. Uh, so I'm just gonna measure the eyes a little bit. Okay, so the distance of the eyes is about right. Maybe it's the distance of the nose bridge. So, okay, let's see. Just gonna move these things around. Just gonna try to measure if you have the proportion right. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. Uh, but I know that the shape of the face is probably the first thing. So the measurement's right because usually uh, if you circular this, and then that's the chin line. The eye will be halfway of the circular shape. So you got the proportion right, and the nose will be the, at the bottom of that. So halfway in between, in between the chin to the eye line should be the nose. I think your nose is a little bit too long. If you measure that from um, the bottom of the nose, should be halfway into being the in between the level of the eyes and the bottom of the chin. And your chin is a little too small, so you can move that up a little bit. So I just cut those whole part and move that up and I'm going to change the shape of the face a little. So I'm just going to give her a little bit more of a jawline even though it's going to have like a, a pointy chin but uh, her jawline is not going to be that tapered. So basically just the shape and the neck is a little bit too thick. Um, you can have a thinner neck so it's kind of like taper down from the um, jawline a little bit. So I'm going to thin her neck a little bit more. <clears throat> and since the hair is a little bit too busy, I'm just going to flatten it out first and I'm just going to fix the face. So if you are painting the face, you can just, for the simplified part, when you paint the hair, you can just uh, flatten it out and put one or two dots of highlight and it will be cool. It would just be good enough. So now I'm just going to do the hairline. Make sure you have big stroke and small stroke taper down on the end of it. As you can see, the hair is now look slightly um, simpler and the readability is better. So readability is really important. Now I'm just going to... And I make the hair lighter so that when I add occlusion shadow, you will have the occlusion shadow from the inside of the hair. So that's why you don't want to make it super duper dark like you know 0% brightness or 10% brightness um, you want to keep it around 20% brightness if you look at it there on that scale and then then you can have an occlusion shadow so don't put anything too dark even if you have black hair still in the light the black would change the color into maybe darker gray only in the occlusion area or only in the the, the area that it doesn't get the light that's when it's going to get really dark. So I'm just going to simplify the nose by adding the shadow there a little bit. So the important point here is uh, in the upper lips, I'm going to add it, making it slightly bigger so it's um, make her look a little sexier. And in the teeth, you add too much detail, uh, simplify it um, because it's going to be far away. I'm going to thicken, thickening her lower lips a little bit more. So now uh, it's proportionately look um, a little bit closer to what I want. And it just repositioning and reshaping your the shape of your um, of each part of the the facial feature basically. And it's all about shape. So now it's I add that bring the, the side of the nose bridge closer together. And I block in the shadow of, in the eye socket. I bring the, um, the eyebrows down a little bit more or the, the top of the eye socket. And I bring the nose bridge on the top of the nose bridge closer together. And then the, on the side of the nose, I kind of thin that out a little bit. 
and on usually the darkest part will be the bottom of the nose and second darkest will be the side of the nose and now I reshaping her uh, the side of the face it's a little bit too wide for my taste um, I'm just gonna thin it out but I will still have like a really defined chin because I don't usually uh, like the round face that much I like the chin a little bit more um, straight and then it's going to be round on the tip of the chin but that's just a matter of preference um, of how you think they look good or not good but proportion is really important so now see I set everything up um, simplify and set the shadow of light And if you notice, the value is a lot more simplified now. There's not a lot of change. So try not to use soft brush so much. Um, use hard edge brush and then define the form. Then you will know exactly where to place them. So now um, you see a lot of angular shape in between the shape, light and shadow. And the value is a little bit more uh, simpler. And I'm going to have the file that you can download um, on my Patreon page. I'm going to have a link down there. So if you're my Patreon, you can download um, this file that I modify on the Patreon page. Um, so, and the white of the dress it, you, is really white. Uh, there's no such thing as extreme black and extreme white. Uh, it's the light. You gotta save the extreme value for um, for the like if you want to get it highlight or you want to give it a, a occlusion shadow. So you don't want to use those right off the bat. You want to stay in the mid tone for the most part, and then you're gonna use um, those extreme value for um, for the, uh, the the final rendering. And the neck is usually the hardest part, so I'm gonna make a a, a lot of mess here on her neck so but I'm just gonna fix her face so sorry so I'm gonna tone down the uh, using level and tone down the contrast a little bit now soon I set this up because and now the value gonna be that close together so alright and now I'm just going to start to hone in and reshaping these gotta flatten her forehead a little bit side of the forehead and then gonna make a transition in between the side of the face and the front and a little bit on the shin uh, we refine her jawline a little bit more um, Some shadow on the chin. It's like, you know, I don't want to mess with the neck, but then I tend to get carried away and try to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to add some texture brush. So texture brush here, I'm using to just um, kind of create a transition, but <laughs> instead of making a mess. I only have like about half an hour, so I got to hurry here. Um, and if you go too fast, you can just pause it. Uh, this is uh, about this is a real real time basically I just kind of paint fast um, so I, I reshaping her eyebrows a little bit and then I'm gonna use the value of the lighter part to make the white of the eyes it's not gonna be white it's just gonna be off white or the value is basically uh, just a little bit lighter than the lightest part of your skin, but it's a desaturated. And then adding the eyelash, um, the shadow underneath the lower eyelid. Basically, just it's like you have everything sort of in place, so there's nothing really wrong what you put in there, but you got to repositioning them basically, move them around and gotta make the mark on the right spot to make them look right 
or make them look as good um, of your concept of the female um, beauty or something so now I flip the canvas and when you flip the canvas you can see if there's anything wrong with it uh, usually the proportion is the first thing you see when you flip the canvas if anything's wrong uh, now I'm just gonna have her hair down to the side of her face a little bit more taper it down um, and then the corner of the lips and I'm gonna add the teeth just simplify it you can just see the upper teeth but you don't you don't need to really add the, the row of the teeth because those are like really really tiny small part uh, and when you add too much on the small part it make it look a little bit out of place it's too much um, if you zoom in on that or have like a really big image then you might but um, you probably don't want to add too many detail on that small tiny part you just want to focus on some part and an overall picture it's like sometimes if you're designing a character or drawing a whole character and I see like some people would have like a really really super render face and then the rest of the character is not as rendered in detail as a face so it the face and the body look like it doesn't belong together because of the level of the detail it doesn't have the same level so that's why sometime when you do that it's not going to be as successful so just simplify a lot of stuff and, and but make sure it has a good shape so now I'm making the tip of the nose basically and the tip of the nose usually I like to make it a little bit darker than the rest because uh, on the side of the tip of the nose or right, right next to your nostril that's going to be where the hard edge happen um, because it's that's where it's kind of curved into your face on the bottom of it that's why it's created like a strong shadow but on the middle of the nose ridge um, you have this muscle from the nose that muscle is kind of follow through your face so it doesn't have that much of a hard edge but on the, the tip of your nose or around your tip of your nose uh, the muscle kind of going inside and then you have another plane so it's like abrupt change of pain on the side of your nose tip right next to your nostril but on the mid part of your nose you have that skin that kind of connected to your cheeks so it, it's not gonna have that it's gonna have like the change of plane but it's gonna be slightly less in less degree than the tip of your nose basically so now I'm tweaking the shape of the eyes a little bit and I'm going to add to the nostril there. So I'm going to try to make it as fast as I can so I co can cover some other uh, image also. But it's just going to be the basic one. And usually you have the, the crease in between your muscle. Like from the side of the nose on the nostril you have that one crease. But usually we don't do that on the portrait as much or if you do it's going to be really subtle like to see the chain between that part and this part you have that crease there that's what I'm talking about because if you make it too dark you can make the person look too old and but that's enough change of plane on the side uh, of the nose and now I'm trying to reshaping her face a little bit more so the shape of everything or the silhouette of everything is really important because uh, it's not just the silhouette of the outside it's the silhouette of every value it's like now nah, the silhouette of the bottom shape of the nose and the silhouette of the nostril itself that's what make so it's like drawing but drawing within the drawing that's what make it uh, that you can make it look good and then put the shape and the placement of the value on the correct position then you'll be fine and the shape of the eyebrows the shape of the eyelash the shape of the value of the lower eyelid the shape of the you know side of her face the shape of everything and then usually on top of your nose bridge you have that darker value because um, from your forehead down to the nose bridge you have a little tiny slight um, bump that facing down and it's facing up again that's why you have that a uh, little bit of shadow on in between your eyes and then the nose bridge will pop up and sometimes you get a highlight on that so either you get the highlight on the nose bridge when it starts or the tip of the nose. So those are two places for the nose that will get the highlight. And that will get a really strong highlight if the light is coming from the front especially. Now I'm reshaping her eyebrow shape a little bit more from there to here. It just not much at all. You you have the shadow and the light, the light 
and the rendering the shape you have you have the overall shape right but the shape within the shape you need to rearrange them uh, to make them look how you want them to look uh, so repositioning the eyes or something cut it up move it up move it to the side reshaping a certain place so now I'm using soft brush darker value to darken um, around the tip of the nose area um, basically those are just going to be more red but since we do grayscale we're not going to do that now I'm just adding the darker shadow on the upper part of her lips and especially on the occlusion shadow between the lips to the teeth and reshaping her eyebrows a little bit. So see, as I paint, I will reshape the certain um, element to make to try to make it look um, the way I want it to. And people have a different perception of beauty. So um, some people might like the eyebrows kind of slanting downward a little bit, but I kind of like it slanting up and look. Uh, look like a mean chick. I love mean chicks. Um, um, anyways, and now I'm adding the eyelid and then some crease between the, the top upper eyelid. And usually on uh, the area of the eye socket that right next to the nose and the area of the uh, eye socket that kind of turn into the side of the face will be the darkest. And on the tail of your eyebrows, in between your eyebrows and the top of your eyelid, those are going to get some light. And now I'm retweaking that a little bit. And that area that I'm painting right now is usually will have a really light area because those are the triangle of the tree face. So you have the ceiling, the side wall, and the front, which that's why that one gets really contrast on the side of the nose on the front. Now I'm going to try to paint the iris. Usually I paint iris the last because sometimes it takes a long time to positioning it right especially when you paint just the portrait um, because if you put it wrong she will look um, weird because the iris and the pupil are you have to put it in the same direction you have to add the highlight on the correct spot otherwise it won't look right so i'm just gonna make another little, i merge everything down and then i'm just gonna move certain part i'm just gonna make I'm just going to move the eyebrows a little bit lower because that's how I like them. Not that there's anything wrong with the earlier, I just kind of move it down a little bit. Then I merge it down and I'm going to reposition in a certain part. Uh, reshape her face a little bit more. I think she looks fine right now. I'm just kind of being a little bit... I don't know. Uh, now her face is long. Um, usually I like a square ish. All right, okay, I think we're almost done here. So I'm just going to add highlight either the tip of the nose or the beginning of the nose. So I'm just going to add the tip of the nose. So this is not white. This is, if you look at the scale, it's like 61% brightness. But it looked lighter because in comparison to the rest of the face, and usually I like to use a mid-tone for the skin. And then I can readjust it later when I'm uh, adding the color on top of it. Uh, because if you use the value that are beyond 70 when you're trying to add a color the color won't stick because it's too light um and now i'm gonna add the iris big iris looking toward you right there and i think the iris kind of covered most of the area which is not sure if that's gonna be good it's cover a lot of white eyes so and the light is coming from the top left side of the screen so it's got to be the same direction basically and the highlight is too strong I'm going to erase it a little bit and now I'm going to add the dark line to the side of the iris there so now we have the paint stretcher so basically um, you get the shape you get the form the overall but then you gotta you know going in and tweaking the shape inside the big shape to get to where you want it to be then I, uh, when i make the hair i just make it very simple and just add a little bit of highlight just so like uh, the mock-up basically then you can go in and add it a little bit later but if you want to know how to paint hair uh, i would recommend looking at a lot of master study and see how to paint hair and use you know edges to help those uh, soft edge, hard edge, and simplify them. Don't make them too complicated. All right, so um, just gonna merge everything down. 
I'm going to move the eyes down a little. Oh, I'm going to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to copy and paste, make it bigger. It's going to be slightly stylized. And then now I have the bigger area around the eyes. I can place the iris a bit better. So I'm just going to draw it first to make sure that it's proportional. And usually um, the bottom of your iris will always, most of the time you look forward, it will always touch the lower eyelid. So your eyes and usually your pupil will be kind of closer to your eyelash because you want to protect your eye from the sun. So it will always catch that right? because if you let too much light in, um, you will get blurred. Just try to look at the sun. Yeah, your eyes can't handle too much light, so they can't handle it. So now I have more area of the white part on the eyes, and I'm just going to add a little highlight there. So this is slightly better. All right. So I guess I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to move on to the other one. So I'm going to try to do. So I'm just going to try to pick random image on my Patreon page and I'm gonna give it like once a month. If I hit my second goal, I'm gonna do uh, twice a month. Um, but I'm gonna try to cover as many people as I can um, on my Patreon because there's uh, people increasing a bit. And now I'm moving the side of the nose around a little bit to cover the nostril right there. And just pin the side. So, all right. So there it is. So it's short and precise, get to the point. And if you want to see the whole full tutorial of how this guy make this or how this guy do this, just go to my website um, and download the premium tutorial on Face. Or you can go to my Patreon and making a new set for the basic um, digital painting tutorial. If you're a beginner, you're going to get uh, the set from chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter, I don't know, I'm going to keep making them for the basic like figure drawing, figure painting, portrait painting. Um, you guys can get better. Uh, that's all I care about. I'm just going to keep making them. All right. So I'm adding a little bit of texture brush to kind of making transition. Um, so as you can see now, it's get a little bit smoother even though it's texture. So I usually use a texture brush instead of soft brush. And sometimes we use soft, soft brush. So it depends. So what am I doing now? I'm not sure. Um, clean that up. Oh, I'm going to add, I'm going to make the eyes a little bit darker on the shadow right there or you can leave it lighter it doesn't matter uh, I just got carried away and then you can add a little more uh, cheekbones or something or the side of the face make it darker it's entirely up to you but sometime I paint and I got carried away I should have stopped here <laughs> but anyways um, and I mess around with it so I'm just gonna skip this part it's not important just add more shadow there basically and because yeah, it's kind of a little bit too light fixing it using saw brush there blah okay and oh now that's what I'm saying about occlusion shadow or the darker one so now I only use like 15% of uh, the brightness and I can enhance this one a little bit more by adding occlusion shadow or emphasize the area that I want it to be darkened so it's increasing the depth all right, and you save the darkest one for um, some other uh, important part that you want to emphasize. And retweaking the shape. You can keep retweaking the shape. I can do this for hours until I get to the point of what I want. But now I think it's about good enough. And I'm going to add a little frickle on her nose. Just using um, the sketch brush in Photoshop. And Go to scattering, spacing, you're going to get a frickle on the nose and resize them to small. So now I'm adding frickle. There we go. Uh, so I like frickle. It's kind of cute. All right. So there. Okay. I hope this is helpful. And Hopefully we'll get to do this every week, 
he might go hit many times then you guys yeah if you guys want to and now so here's another one he, this one is really nice um <clears throat> the thing about this one is basically if you have the under lighting then you probably want to darken the face a little more because this is you want to either emphasize the i don't know focus on the 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 main light then you're gonna have to darken a little bit of the whole face so when you have both light kind of competing with each other i mean it looks good but you're gonna want one to dominate over the other so that's gonna be kind of confusing right so i assume that the light's coming the front that way and then you have the rim light that coming in if you have i mean you could have a rim light on the side of rim light but then um the confusing part here is that on this part of the armor you should if you have a natural light coming to hit the face that strong you should have you should break down that part of the collar should get the light on top edge of the collar also it shouldn't be that dark because you still have the stronger natural light right so um, the face is not really anything wrong with it I think you can just leave it but the, the rest of these are very confusing um, like on that so you have you got, just got to have one value and have it face up and then you got to break it down to geometry form you're gonna see three faces um, then there's a top face of that collar again and then the leather will be another value which I'm gonna borrow the other value from the other side there so you see what I mean if the lights hitting from the top to hit the face that strong then you should have it that strong on the collar and make sure it's had the correct perspective or contour line um, and now either one of this side one of them you're gonna see the side face which I'm gonna pick the one on the right side of the screen to see the side face which is gonna be a little bit darker and the other one you're not gonna see because you can only see one it's either you see left or right it's kind of like either you see the bottom or the top that's just the rule of perspective and same thing with this leather here uh, the front should be a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna do a really quick tutorial on this uh, the face look fine um, you, but sometimes you gotta emphasize one or the other of the light and what am I doing um, oh just cutting that arrows out because it's on the same layer I'm hitting. and again same thing as I don't know what this is I was thinking probably shoulder pad you gotta break it down into plane like what I'm doing here and get the big form and each plane of these are facing the different direction so it should have uh, different value just like what I'm doing to the collar and now I'm just going to same thing will go with this um, detail piece here top piece top face will be lighter and then the front face and the bottom face and depends on how thick this leather uh, pieces are if it's thinner then you can have slightly thinner on the top side and then the front side will face will be a bit lighter than that one on the side but still so a little bit of highlight here and there so basically there's not in, not a big deal on the face the face are fine uh, but the big deal is on the, the light for the rest of the whatever that you're trying to do so and then that that light should be more even since it's facing the same direction uh, you can't have it lighter on top and uh, darker on the bottom if it's just the face is facing the same direction so basically just that and um but i'm not gonna fix them all i'm just gonna give you an example here uh, i hope this makes sense and then same thing as the other one of the metal piece over there right and so on right just moving on so just gonna move on here uh, i hope this is helpful all right okay so now we come to this phase um basically so the eye socket has the if wherever your eye socket starting from the um, head that's where it can be the shadow will, will fall flat there um, there so it has to be even because otherwise uh, this when the shadow start doesn't look uh, even with the other side of the eye socket and then um, the eyes color and the, the the white of the eyes are too white and the nostril you don't have to make it um, 
like that con like if it's facing the bottom it should be slightly darker and i'm gonna fix the color of the teeth a little bit it's gotta be it can be white it has to be off white or slightly darker than what is uh, it'll be a bit darker there and the overall lighting is kind of weird because you have like a really dark mid section of the neck um, the light should be gradually changes wherever the, the face of the plane are changing and leave the super light especially on the cloth uh, the cloth unless it's super overexposed you're going to get the highlight on cloth or on fabric uh, on fabric you don't get highlight unless it's overexposed so usually you get um, when you get the light if it's like an overcast light you can get true color but if it's a little bit more sunlight then you're going to get um, a little bit of uh, desaturated cloth but um, it doesn't get as bright as you painted earlier so you can have to make it redder because cloth is one of the material that absorb the light so it's not going to be bounce off the light so it's not going to have that contrast as much so just usually I will typically if it's not overexposed and I'm just going to give it two to three value of the color on the cloth and then on the bottom of the face uh, I'm gonna give it slightly darker so overall you have to think of the overall face as overall form and then the highlight is going to hit on the top and it's gradually the egg shape uh, that comes down the whole face is gonna be uh, gradually changed into the darker you can't reuse um, the, the light on the same level on top of the head to the bottom of the head because the bottom of the face is most of the time will be if the light hit exposed that much it's going to be slightly uh, darker on there and just reshaping um, the position rechanging the position and the shape of the object uh, or the element of the facial and it's going to be fine and that that light part of that cheek on the shadow side shouldn't be that light so I'm just going to dim it down a little bit and then the bottom of the nose should be the darker value because it's facing a different direction for the side. And that side of the cheek is too light. And I'm going to put the shadow on the side of the face a little bit more. Because if you, if you break it down into face, so it's like front uh, in the midsection here, you're going to get light there and it's, it turns. The face turns, so it's going to be automatically darker. And as you come down, the face turns downward. So you're going to automatically get a darker, basically. Uh, area because if you look at your face it's coming down and then when you uh, move from your nose to the jaw it's kind of sloping down so you can get less light automatically but you're gonna get the light uh, a little bit of light touch because you're at the, the top of your uh, the place on top of your upper lip is kind of facing up slightly up a little bit and then on cloth gotta make it slightly thinner and if you have a bounce light on the skin you should get the bounce light on cloth a little bit to make it consistency and that dark area underneath the neck in the middle, it's not supposed to be that dark. So you got to make that nice transition. Um, and there. I'm just going to get rid of this arm because it's going to make this way too long. So the light got to gradually, consistently um, lit. And you got to think about the big form first before you're going and trying to get the all those small form and trying to use too much uh, contrast. So it made them gradually change and then some shadow on the eyes and I hope this video is helpful and I'm going to be done. So this is a really, really fast review. I'm just uh, trying to get it as much as I can within half an hour. So and this is all the time I have. And yeah, if you're interested in a longer session and in-depth explanation, you can always come and take my class and I will give you in-depth review and break down everything so all right um, this is just the first of many uh, critique tutorial if you want to get critique go to my patreon and then i'm just now when i have the light gradually change now i'm just slowly adding a smaller part of the piece to add uh, to make it look uh, better so from there to here Alright, I guess I'm done talking. You guys can still watch it. And again, you can always take my class. The class uh, are coming up on uh, theartclasses.com, uh, Digital Painting 101. And I will have a character design class in September. 
and but you can always get my tutorial every month on Patreon. Oh, now I'm adding the core shadow. So when the core shadow usually in between the cutoff, in between the light and shadow, this shadow will be the darkest and it's got lighter as it goes out. All right, guys, here are a few of the pan over tutorial. And I hope you guys learned something from this. And thanks so much for all your support on Patreon. I hit the first goal within uh, probably a few weeks. And hopefully I'll hit a second goal so I can do more of these and you guys can learn from it and paint over you guys. All right. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. And here are all my Patreon. That's uh, now it's increasing. So it's thank you very much, you guys. This is uh, from level four and up. So thank you, Cubinator, Sebastian, Rom Roberto Herb, Hanuman, um, John Holloway, Antonio Hernandez. John Saipos, Doug Taro, Steve Young, um, Hassan Ali, Paul Castle, Dominique, Samuel, Gary, Leon, Jeff, Savage, Vilas, Richard, Luna, Nera, Eric, Austin, Goy, Hammer, Tom, Angel, and Joris. So thank you very much. Uh, these are all my, these are the level up and Patreon supporter on July. And if you're interested, I release a pretty cool video on Patreon every month. And you can go just follow it on Patreon. You see me post an image every week. And again, uh, video tutorial downloadable giveaway on Instagram, Instagram.com slash ZTFTara. So if you want a tutorial, premium tutorial download of your choice, I'll give it away every week. And tablet giveaway is still going on. So you just become a subscriber on YouTube. And then um, I'm gonna just going to randomly select you guys each month. Have a good day or night or whatever, wherever you are. Okay, bye-bye.